And from a rock and roll Brian to a blood and guts Brian. Brian Clement is an island director who's become infamous with the annual release of his zombie movies. This year, the award-winning filmmaker has found some light in the darkness, and his slippers may be responsible. One would expect that the director of this would share his editing suite with something like this. He totally inspires me. <laughs> they smile and laugh at me all the time. Gotta keep working. But the latest production by the island zombie auteur is a departure from his usual blood fests. You know, I wanted to do something a bit more mature, something that would, that would really uh, show off more of a filmmaking skill that people wouldn't simply dismiss um, out of hand as being just a lowbrow gore. And thus we have Clement's fifth film in five years, The Dead Inside, which he said is like a serious 1940s version of Ghostbusters. There's uh, these supernatural detectives and they uh, seek out um, forces of evil in Victoria. The Dead Inside is also about dueling with our internal darkness and not giving up. I want it to be a bit uh, inspirational, not just uh, downbeat. What? Scaring is being replaced with caring? Well, perhaps we shouldn't be surprised because Clement has more than just skeletons in this closet. He wears these while editing. Well, Homer Simpson isn't that scary, but uh, uh, I guess it's scary that he's eating my feet, sure. <laughs> yes, even his toasty toes have a twist of terror, but in Brian Clement's world, hope and horror have equal footing. Maybe I'm just, maybe it's because people just want to be scared because they need that excitement. They need to be reminded they're alive. And it, it helps, I think, horror movies especially, to remind us that life is precious and that we need to keep on living. The Dead Inside will be screening at film festivals this fall from Portland to Buenos Aires. For details, check out the Frontline Films website.